Hello. Okay, so today I have this. Um, I got two units of this KVM switch. Okay, so it's um it's a eight port USB 2.0 KVM switch. So this device, one alone, can connect to eight computers. So um now the connection is pretty easy and and, and it's not the connection I want to talk about. It's pretty e e easy. You have a one end USB, one end uh, VGA. So these are the cables for the connection. So bring out the cables like this. You see, at one end, see one end of the cable here. Yeah. This goes to the KVN switch, and the other end has the USB um, attached to it. So this is the other end. Okay, it has USB attached to it. So you see the two ends. The, this side, this this side goes to the KVN switch, and the VGA port that has a USB attached to it goes to the computer, be it the server. Now in this uh, in, in my application, I needed more than eight ports, uh, so I got these two, and uh, I was open to use these two uh, simultaneously um, because I have about uh, fourteen devices, fourteen devices that I need um, to monitor. I got a challenge, and the challenge was how to to make a daisy chain out of it. Um, such that the two connected of all the 14 devices, servers, and other network equipment um, that require monitoring on the monitor. Okay, so you're right here. I have a single monitor with a single keyboard and a single USB mouse. So, straight away, um, the connection has already been made. So, I just want to share this information. I had issues with it, but I was able to figure it out uh, by playing with it. So one set was connected to the first eight um, servers. Then the other set, this other one was connected to the rest. And uh, so after connecting the first one, what I did in my case is, um, this is switch number one. Now on switch number one, port eight, port eight was used to connect to the second switch. So what did I do? Now, like I said earlier, the this end of the cable with this end of the cable that has um, VGA and USB connection, it connects to the computer, be it the server or the desktop computer, yeah, or any device that has a USB port um, that has that requires VGA and it has a USB port. It works. Okay, so what I've done now is, in my case, is now this end stays on port 8 of switch 1, KVN switch 1, while this other end goes to the, this goes to the PC port and to one of the USB ports on the KVN switch. Okay, um, so I'll show, I'll show you what I've done here. Okay, so you see, this is a practical application. The installation has already been done. So, um, see here, that's the screen. That's the monitor, that is. There's a monitor. And then here you have KVN switch 1 and KVN switch 2. Now, KVN on KVN switch 1, port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are connected to different equipment. You can see I have a lot of um, equipment here. So, so this, so the first ports are connected to, the first seven ports that is are connected to different equipment. Port eight on switch, uh, KVN switch one, is connected to port, to the PC port on switch two and USB port. So what that means is that switch 2, KVN switch 2, is acting as a device to KVN switch 1 on port 8. That's the simple logic. Okay. 
So now this is ABS switch one. You see, look at the monitor. Okay, that's ABS switch one. The same for switch for two. This is six. Okay. Seven. Okay, now on switch one, let's see that's port eight. That's port eight. Now the port eight, leave that on port eight. Go to KVN switch port one. Can see. So, meanwhile, the this monitor, this USB and the keyboard are connected to port to KVN switch one. What I refer to here as KVN switch one. Okay, the place is a little bit dark. So please bear with me. So KVN switch one. Okay, and um, and port eight, port switch two is serving as a device. That's, that's what I came up with. Switch 2 is serving as say, a computer to port to KVN switch 1 port 8. So to enable me to see uh, the rest of the devices, um, I have to leave. So this KVN switch 1 has to be on port 8, while on KVN switch 2, I can now move from port 1, port 2. Okay, port 3, port 4, okay, and the rest. Okay, so you can go through the rest. Okay, so you see. Alright, so um, the simple logic with this uh, mic, MT, it's actually called MT Vicky. Okay, so that's it. It's empty Vicky KVN switch. All right, empty Vicky KVN switch. Um, right here, I don't, I don't actually need this because um, this is a, a network room with live switches. Um, you can see, and I just needed this to um, to be able to enable me see all the other devices. About uh, fourteen devices here that are connected. So. So, um, so that's it. Okay, that's it. This remains on port eight, and while on this other one, we can move from from port one to any of the ports, and then you see you'll be able to monitor it on the on the screen. Okay, there is a little bit of delay um, in switching. It's not the best of uh, KVN switch, but uh, well, for now it serves my purpose. And uh, thank you very much for your time. Hope this information will be useful to someone out there in the world.